So do you litter? Uh, no. 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 Do you litter? No. No. Never? Never. Do you litter? Uh, no. No, definitely not. No, I don't. We've done some recent survey which has suggests the vast majority of people are actually littering. What sort of person do you think litters the most? A person that doesn't care. I guess lazy, busy people. Lots of types of people litter. A lot of littering is by tourists because they don't have any sense of ownership. Every year in New South Wales alone, about 50,000 tonnes of rubbish is littered. That's the equivalent weight of approximately 125 jumbo jets, 10,000 African elephants, 446,000 iPhones or the Titanic. Well, many types of litter, particularly problematic sources of litter, have some fairly disastrous impacts on the environment, particularly plastic objects. What is a more acceptable type of litter? Through a banana peel, I think. Yes. Right? Yeah. Biodegradable. Obviously something that will, like some cardboard or something like that, not like plastic or... According to the New South Wales Environmental Protection Agency, you're more likely to litter if your item is only small. What do you think is the most littered item? Cigarette butts. Gum or cigarette? Probably cigarette butts. I think cigarette butts. If you walk down that yeah, way, if you walk down that way. So cigarette butts have been the number one item for the last 25 years. Even though we're seeing a reduction in the number of people who are smoking, we're not seeing a reduction in the amount of cigarette butt litter. Mainly that's because people are now all smoking outdoors. By item, it is still the number one by far uh, source of litter. Over seven billion of them are discarded every year. If you laid them all end to end, those butts would stretch from Sydney to Perth 53 times. That's a lot of cigarettes. That is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting. The other thing we're noticing more of is beverage containers. So bottles and cans, single use bottles and cans. What brands do you brands think are mostly uh, I'd say Coca Cola, definitely. You always see Coke bottles lying around. I think fast food's probably got a lot, to, you know, they probably play a big role in that as well. So Maybe Coca Cola or something. The most littered brand in Australia is McDonald's. And the top five are Coca-Cola, Cadbury, Winfield and Nestle. And what they all have in common besides logos that are mostly red are products that are mostly unhealthy. But is it really fair to just point the finger at fat smokers? If you manufacture a product, you should be responsible for its disposal at end of life. There's many ways that uh, extended producer responsibility, EPSs, can be introduced and we are seeing that done already in Australia in a voluntary capacity. There is some movement in industry for um, extended producer responsibility. Not quite enough yet though. Extended producer responsibility is one way of encouraging companies to take greater account of the products they make by making them liable for the product over its entire lifetime. Although it may not directly reduce littering, it can encourage companies to reduce waste and create products and packaging that are less toxic to the environment. Coca-Cola and some of their allies stood in our way for the introduction of a container deposit scheme. Thankfully we won. The industry has now done a 180 degree swing and is now looking at container deposit schemes. However, they don't want to deposit as part of it. The scheme is already in effect in many places around the world, including South Australia, where the return rate for beverage containers is 79.5%, twice the rate of anywhere else in the country. So people will do it if they think there's something in it for them. So do you think um, penalties are likely to stop people from littering? Absolutely, yeah. In New South Wales, littering can attract fines of up to $375. Rangers need to find people. They need to catch them, they need to be able to prosecute them on the spot. So do you litter? Uh, nope. No, never? <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. Occasionally, yes, you do. Okay. okay, have you ever littered? Yes. 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 But the simple answer is there's lots of types of litter, litterers out in society. And it, look, it's a shared responsibility. Every single one of us needs to think about what we're buying and how we're going to dispose of that at the end of its life. It's not about punishments or rewards or blaming big companies. The answer comes down to us. Individually, we need to make the choice if we want to live in filth or live in a clean environment.